Do you have brave ideas, only to ask yourself a week later why you never did anything about it? In this video, I'll cover why it's hard to do brave new things and how to use the five second rule to launch into action before you talk yourself out of it. I'm Colter Reed. I'm here to help you get the day to day out of the way so that you can stop chasing the dream and start living the dream. Let's talk about brave ideas. We have brave ideas. This is how we change our life. This is how we move forward. Now, this idea might be something as mundane as applying for a new job. It might be something romantic, like going over and talking to the little redheaded girl. Or it might be something as exotic as learning to play the bagpipes. Now, when we have an idea, especially the big, bold, brave, beautiful ideas, there are two parts of our brain that are involved. The first is the prefrontal cortex. This is where we do our higher order thinking, our creative thinking. This is where we come up with ideas. And then we have the basal ganglia, which is a much older part of the brain. The basal ganglia has one job, and that is to keep you alive. Literally every idea that your prefrontal cortex comes up with, your basal ganglia thinks about it for a second to decide whether that idea is going to kill you or not. There's, there's no physical difference between feeling excited and feeling anxious and scared. We, we have the same physical, physiological response. Our breathing quickens, our pulse gets, um, uh, our, our pulse rate goes higher, uh, blood starts flowing into the extremities. Uh, that's why we get a little lightheaded sometimes. But the only difference is how we interpret that physical signal. Now, the prefrontal cortex understands the ideas and it sees the possibility and the potential. And so our, our prefrontal cortex is where we get excited about change and, and doing new things. But the basal ganglia only understands the fight or flight response. It senses danger. And so it thinks that you know, it is constantly on the lookout for ways that you know we might die. Uh, we might get injured from, you know, uh, from executing on these ideas. Okay? Our, our prefrontal cortex comes up with wonderful ideas on how we can change our life. And the basal ganglia just says no. It literally cannot tell the difference between learning to play the bagpipes and getting mauled by a bear. And neither can your neighbors. Fair enough. So fortunately, there is a five second delay between when the prefrontal cortex comes up with an idea and your basal ganglia says no. So that, that five second delay is your key to launching into action. Just like you're waiting for a rocket to launch, count down from five. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and go. Do something to tie that action, to, to tie that idea to an action. You're not gonna finish what you're doing in five seconds. Most ideas take a lot longer than five seconds to, to execute on, but you can take a step. You can do something to get started to uh, to get yourself in motion so that your basal ganglia can start to see that it's okay. You're, you're not going to die from this. It's not going to kill you. It's going to be fun. Go for it. Now, some of you might ask, well, Coulter, why do I need to count down? Count down? Can, can I just count up? It's easier. Well, no. There's a reason why you count down. There, there's no natural end when you count up. When you count down, five, four, three, two, one, the rocket launches. Okay, if you count up and you're not sure about something, your basal ganglia is trying to drag its feet and keep you from doing something, well, your basal ganglia understands how to count up. We count up all the time. One, two, three, four, five. What comes next? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can count up all day. Count down to a launch and get into action. But Coulter, you said it's the five second rule. Do I need to count down five one thousand, four one thousand, three one thousand? No. Um, first off, it's surprisingly difficult to do that. I, I actually had to practice that a couple times before I, I could say it correctly. Um, and second, are, are you trying to let your basal ganglia win? The point, <laughs> pro tip, turn off notifications before you record. I. The point of the five second rule is to 
pull you is to pull yourself forward to get moving okay don't drag this out and give your basal ganglia a chance to to veto the idea and say yeah no that that that's going to end badly i don't let's let's not do that okay just five four three two one go don't don't count by thousands five four three two one the next time that you come up with a brave new idea that just might change your life count down from five and connect the idea to an action before your basal ganglia has a chance to say no and see what happens. I'm Colter Reed. I'm here to help you get the day-to-day -day out of the way so you can stop chasing the dream and start living the dream. If you've enjoyed this video, click subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified the next time a video is available. If you want to know more about why a bias for action will make it easier for you to get more done, be sure to check out this video where I talk about why bison face into the wind. I'll see you there.